Hello and welcome to our SURF tutorial video. This video is going to look at how to enter sales invoices correctly to SURF. From your dashboard, you can select create new and sales invoice, or on the left hand side, you can select sales and invoices. As you can see, we haven't entered any sales invoices yet, but this screen will change once we've entered a sales invoice. So, so I'm going to select add invoice. I can see here there's a lot of information to populate. So I'm going to select my customer, who is Stark1. My reference number is going to be 8888. Again. So my invoice date will just be the 1st of the 1st, 2018. And you'll see my due date should change because I have different terms set up for this customer. You can see there it's changed to the 2nd of the 3rd, 2018. Likewise, you can see the address of the customer has populated here and that just shows why it's so important to set up your customers correctly so i'm going to select my product i'm just going to select sale of goods you can see it sets up my description 60. my VAT rate has pulled through because i set up my customer correctly my normal code is pulled through and from my net amount it calculates the VAT and my total of 200. So at this point, I can scroll down and save. So you can see from here, it's showing me my sales invoices and the amount due and the fact that it has not been paid yet. If you want to view that invoice, you can click on the invoice number or the document number, and it will just show you what your invoice looks like that you're sending out to your customers. All the information that we entered when we were setting up this customer, all that information is pulled through. If you've not watched our tutorial on how to set up a customer in SURF, I would recommend you go back and do this as entering in this key information will help you to generate invoices correctly in the system. From here, I also have the option to email this invoice directly to my customer, and that's because I entered that information when I was setting up the customer originally. You can see it just has a little pro forma message here, and you can send from there. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this helpful.